Today is all about my beautiful vintage squash blossom necklace, the story behind it, and also how my jeweler taught me to clean it. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. Thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. If you are a regular viewer and subscriber, I absolutely love you, thank you so much. If you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, it's just the button here. It means the world to me, I'm trying to grow the channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up too. We are on all the social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at The Dress Up Mom, hashtag The Dress Up Mom, and you can check us out there too. I have been wanting a vintage squash blossom necklace for a really, really long time. I just think they are beautiful. And I put it out in the universe. This is one of those things where you put something out in the universe, you have no idea how you're going to get it or how it's going to happen. You have faith that it will, and eventually it does. I'm telling you, this is exactly what happened here. I had some real prerequisites for the necklace that I wanted. And I was also very patient. I mean, I've been wanting one now for years and it just happened recently. So let me tell you about it. The prerequisites I had, first off, they're really expensive. I mean, I couldn't spend what they normally are, what they're normally worth. So I knew that I had to get a really good deal on it. Secondly, I didn't want to be duped in any way. So I know that you can you know, buy things on eBay and other places if you're very knowledgeable, but I'm not. And I've heard about people getting really ripped off. So I wanted to buy it from somebody reputable or somebody who really knew what they were talking about and somebody that I trusted. I also wanted a big one. I am a tall woman. I'm 5'10", I have broad shoulders, and I wanted one like over the top and big. I also wanted it to be vintage, obviously. And I also wanted it to be more in the green tones than the blue tones on the turquoise. So you can see that's like a lot of things. It wasn't something I knew I was just gonna go out and buy. This thing was gonna have to find me. And that's exactly what happened. I have a fantastic jeweler. His name is Rick. He's in Encinitas. I'll put a little plug here, information down in the description on where he is, but he's fantastic and he has helped me out over the years with a lot of things. Uh, I always also go in and check my rings every six months with him to make sure they're all in good shape and he's just fantastic. I completely trust him. So I told him everything that I was looking for in this squash blossom necklace. He told me he'd keep his eye out for it. A couple things happened, you know, there were a couple ones that kind of came in between time, but then he told me he thought he found the perfect one for me. And it absolutely is. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, come on. It has the really big, I think I'm not, can't remember what it's called, but this like horseshoe shape or the crescent thing on the bottom here. I'm doing a little bit of research on it. It is heavy too. It's old, it has this patina. It's like, it weighs about a pound, but I don't care. I just think it's beautiful. It's totally my style, and believe it or not, like it goes with about half the things in my closet, so I know I made a right decision on it. So Rick has another customer, and her 80-something-year-old mother passed away, and this was her necklace, and it wasn't his customer's style, the daughter's style, so she really wanted it to go to a good home and wanted to sell it, and I got it for like the best price. And I'm so grateful, again, just shows, put things out in the universe and believe it's gonna happen, have faith, be patient, eventually it does. I wanted to just show you also some footage because again, with the silver, uh, it needs to be taken care of. Rick did polish a little bit for me, but I wanna show you some footage when I picked it up of what Rick told me about the necklace and also ways to take care of it and how to store it. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty all done up. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Do you what do you know about this necklace, Rick? The owner, it, do you know where it, she got it? Was, it was I think it was from her mother. Oh, her mother wow. just recently passed away. Wow. And it just wasn't her style of jewelry. Mm -hmm. And um, she brought it into me quite a while ago asking if I would sell it for her and I said, Well, I don't I just don't do silver. Yeah. So I said if I anything pops up, I'll call you. 
So I just and then I, I popped up. And then you popped up. <laughs> her mom's pro was probably in her 80s, late 80s. Right, right, right. You know? Well, it's just beautiful, and I love the turquoise color on it. So um, I'm guessing it's probably from like the 50s, 60s, maybe. Probably, if we had to guess, but who cares? Uh, you know, it's definitely old. They've made them the same way for so many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell that way because the Indians, you know, they they still even today, d they're made exactly the same way. Yeah, especially but, with the way the the color has aged and has a nice patina to it. Yeah, so it has to be old. Yeah, and definitely authentic for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I've been looking for one for ages. Right. Because it has a really nice strong chain mm -hmm. here, you yeah. know, that's holding it together. Because it's heavy. heavy. Yeah, this thing's really heavy. So just you can sit and be watching a movie and just sit there and just grab one beat at a time you know and just go through it okay and it'll keep it nice see how nice it's doing that yeah to where that is right there i okay. only been doing this for a couple seconds okay so you can just use the yellow part this is going to get really dark and ugly uh-huh doesn't mean it's not working okay yeah don't wash it just leave it alone let it get dirty it'll still work okay um and then you can just Right. See All how that? But I don't get it on the turquoise, or do I have to worry? Well, this about doesn't it? matter. Okay, no, it's you, just can you even can't rub. do polish on the turquoise. You don't want to soak it in tarnix with, with the, the turquoise. turquoise. Okay. Yeah. If yeah, you're gonna do, do, if you need to do tarnix, you got to bring it into me to do it, so I can rinse it out of the beads because these these hold water when you get it wet, mm -hmm. and then it'll tarnish really bad. Mm -hmm. So, um, also, I'm gonna give you this plus anti-tarnish paper. So this is anti-tarnish paper, the white tissue. Okay. These are a little more concentrated as well. Okay. So if you put this in a bag and put these in with it, okay. just you don't have to wrap it or anything, just stick them in there with it. It'll help prevent it from getting any more tarnished. Perfect. And then, I would leave the bag open so it can breathe. A little bit, okay. Yeah, don't, don't seal it, because there might be some moisture in there and then it can cause some problems. Perfect. Um, tarnishing and stuff. Okay. So just, you know, like I said, you can just go over this. You can even rub the, rub the turquoise. Mm -hmm. It will, this, it will shine it. Great. A okay. little bit. I love it, love yeah. it, love it. It's Thank you basic, for the little so. tutorial. Appreciate that. Yeah. Any of you who have these beautiful babies, oh, I just cherish it. You'll be seeing me wear it a lot on the channel and my what I wore and all those kinds of things. I hope to have it for life and hopefully pass it down to somebody in my family who likes it and whose style it is. Thank you, universe. I'm very grateful. If you have a squash blossom necklace and love it, please let me know. If this helps you on cleaning it, let me know that too. And any of your other cool jewelry stories and any great jewelers that you know. I think that they can be just fantastic people to have in your life. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little. Okay.